Mr. Mike Morgan, now just to hold on a freaking Minato here. I'm watching a video with some freaking guy filling an old Ford. Looks like a 72, 73, 4, 5, 6, somewhere's in there on YouTube. You know, Mike Morgan, you might know him. Come on. Is that your truck? So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We're back down here at the wood yard this evening, and I just confirmed my subgrade is off just a little bit. So if you have been uh, following along, you know I've been moving a whole bunch of dirt down here at the wood yard, expanding things, making everything a lot bigger. I think when it's all said and done, we're pretty much going to at least double the size of things down here. But when I was digging back here in this cut... I thought I was starting to get just a little bit low. And what happens is you get into this slabby stuff and you bust a piece out. Next pass, you take another piece out. You end up a little bit low. It's not too awful bad. But over there towards the sawmill, I took a shot over there. And right here, I'm about three inches low. Now, I want everything to kind of slope that way and that way away from this hillside right here behind me. Now, this area here is probably going to have four inches of stone on it, but I still need to bring this up eh, four or five inches. Just in this area right in here. Out where you can start to see the stone, it's okay. So I need to bring this back up just a hair. Oh, and somebody just asked me the other day in the comments, or maybe they sent me an email, I can't remember, how I like this Bosch rotating laser. Handy as a pocket on a shirt. I love this thing. With a skid loader... It's pretty easy to keep the grade you want, but this is getting to be such a big area, uh, the laser comes in very handy. All I have left to take out of here, there's like a plug left in here behind the shipping container, and it kind of daylights back there around the corner. There's not that much dirt left here, but I do have some topsoil and some roots and stuff on top. I'm going to get that off of there and kind of pile it up right here because I'm going to use it on that slope over there by Blueford. We'll get that graded up and get that seeded tomorrow. And then I'll be into the good shale and clay underneath that. So right now I'm going to get on the excavator, clean all this, uh, you know, topsoil and like I say, roots, little sticks, clean all that off of there. And I will expose all the good fill underneath it. So I'm basically separating dirt.
right, I got that uh, topsoil stripped off there. There's actually quite a bit in there. I probably took a foot or so off of there. I have a little pile here, some there, and I pulled a little bit off that bank. I'm just gonna hop on the skid loader here in a minute, and we'll take this stuff over on that slope over there. I am by no means trying to make that look like a yard, but there's some exposed rock and shale. I just wanna get it covered up and we'll get something growing on it. But I can mow all that with the uh, zero turn. Shouldn't have any problem at all. And then what I'm gonna do is here, just kind of blend this in. I don't really care what it looks like. I just need to get this done and uh, move on to other things. And this here, like I said, will be brought up about four inches with good material. And then there'll be stone on top of this and it'll look like a million bucks. Speaking of looking like a million bucks, look who's coming down here.
so that actually worked out pretty good i have to touch up a little bit there at the end and like i said there's some roots in there i'll hit it with the uh, landscape rake real quick not trying to make a nice lawn out of it but just that little bit of topsoil on there will make that look like the yard up above it it'll green right up good what do you think melissa well you know i had a break from my pressing business and uh came down to run cameras how many hats do you ship out today uh 80 80 probably yeah 80 and then i did 60 tonight so that's awesome well we appreciate it everyone Your hats are on the way <laughs> yeah thanks so much for ordering really appreciate it and uh so th Alright, I got Blueford over here. I'm just going to load up uh, what's left of that topsoil and these roots. There's not much here. A little bit over here, a little bit over there, a little bit over there. I'll load that in the truck and get rid of it. And that will leave me with some pretty good material right here uh, to fill in here. And then I'm actually going to have to take some over to uh, neighbor cliffs here in the next couple days. So uh, that'll work out pretty good. Oh, and by the way, I got a, uh, a text message the other day, an audio text message from someone. I think they got a crush on old Blueford. I'm going to play it for you. I hope you can hear this. Mr. Mike Morgan, now just to hold on a freaking Minato here. I'm watching a video with some freaking guy filling an old Ford. Looks like a 72, 73, 4, 5, 6, somewhere's in there on youtube you know mike morgan you might know him come on is that your truck old buck and billy ray he likes the old fords
right, so I used that load of uh, mixed topsoil and other debris to kind of dress up that slope on that side. But uh, yeah, this worked out pretty good over here. You can just tell. I mean, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can tell. Just looking over there, it looks so much better. I brought that up about uh, probably four inches. It started out as kind of uh, bony material, you know, pretty rocky. So I kept mixing the finer shale and the clay in there. But uh, this stuff compacts really well. I'll have to get this one big goonie out of here. Grade it up a little bit better. But yeah, that was a pretty good evening. So I think that's about it for today's video. Don't forget if you want a hat or a shirt, there will be a link in the description. And if I remember, I'll pin a comment as well. I appreciate y'all being here and I'll catch you on the next one.